Gul says, please advise as smoking haram in Islam, but not clear whether a woman should marry a guy who is a smoker. First of all, smoking is a sin without any doubt. It is harmful. It is waste of money. It is repulsive to smell someone who smokes. His breath is awful. His fingers are also smelly. So many bad things. But is this a legitimate excuse to reject a proposal? This depends on a number of factors. Number one, whether that person is adamant in smoking, he's not shy of doing it in public, he doesn't care what people say. This guy, guy is an open, open sinner. He's a, an openly sinner. He doesn't care about what people say. And definitely this attitude is not a positive attitude with in, in a man. Yes, we're all sinful. We all have our shortcomings. I have my own sins, but I don't I do not go around and brag about them. It's something that I'm ashamed of. I try to conceal to the best of my ability. But to go openly and commit this sin, even if it's a minor sin, and not be shameful for doing it, this is not a very positive thing. If you are a practicing woman, definitely this is not a person that suits you. But remember that this is not the only sin. Shaving is a sin. So if a good thing to reject him or not, this depends on how religious you are. This depends how old you are. This depends on the other good characteristics in him, which may help him to change if he's kind, loving, caring, uh, financially stable, offers prayers in the masjids, loves the deen, loves the Quran, the sunnah, is enthusiastic, but he has this one particular shortcoming. Then you can evaluate and say, mm, yeah, there's so many good things in him. And hopefully with some uh, diplomatic attempts, he will, inshallah, uh, be more cooperative in leaving it, etc. Maybe it would be a good thing to consider.